for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to check for updates and do all the updates that your computer may have. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to click on any service and click on see on our keyboard. Then we're going to scroll down until we find cryptographic services. We want to double click on this and you want to make sure that the service status says running on it and that the startup type is on automatic. If it's not, then you want to click on start. But if the service status was already running once you clicked on the service, you want to click on stop and then click on start. Once you do that, we're going to click on P on our keyboard. Then we're going to scroll down until we find plug and play. You want to double click on it and do the same thing. Make sure that the startup type is on automatic and that the service status is running. And click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on Bluetooth and devices. Then where it says devices right here, we're going to click add device. And then you want to click on everything else. And then you want to make sure that your USB is plugged in. And then if it's been detected, then you want to select it and then follow the steps and then see if that works for you. Once you do everything in this video, restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.